Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and um, more specifically the tactics and the strategies to deal with your ex. The topic for this specific video is still want to have sex with her? Of course, if you have been dating this woman for an extended period of time, or if you have been married for years, of course the desire of sensual or sexual interactions is going to be there. And the question that you might have is, is that an option? Is this a good thing or should I, you know, shut down my sexual desire towards her and hold back from engaging with her? And so what you have to understand is that you have a whole range of possibilities, right? You can, you can break up and still stay really, really close, close to each other. Or you can break up or divorce and never see each other again. So in this range of possibilities, there is also a different range of possible dynamics when it comes to intimacy. You can be, for instance, really kind towards each other loving each other, taking each other's um, hand when you see each other, you know, kissing, engaging, playing, uh, have a whole range of sensual exchange, you know, that, is still, that still goes way beyond friendship. The reason why this might be happening is because you are very comfortable with each other. You might have been each other's best friend, lover, for an extended period of time. And so, what you want to do in a situation like this is try to identify really what works the best for your dynamics. And uh, the idea of having sex, you know, full-on sex, intercourse with an ex, you know, can be really juicy and interesting. And the question for you, is this serving you? What are the consequences when this happens? For instance, you might be taken by passion and you end up having wild sex one day and then the following day you see all these snowballing effects, after effects from having done that. You know, she might be nasty with you, retaliating, she might be jealous or angry. There might be a whole lot of negative emotions in the field. Or, you know, it might be just a harmonious thing. Yeah, every now and then we see each other again and we just have sex. It's a possibility. And so in my experience, I think that keeping a, a high degree of intimacy with your ex is something that can work here and there. It's not something that I recommend as a guideline, you know, it's not like when you break up, keep on having sex with your ex. No, it's not like that at all. But sometimes there is a window for two people who have been coupling to stay lovers and interact sexually even though you broke up. So the breakup, what the breakup targets, it's an uncoupling process. It means that, usually it means that you are no longer a couple, right? But sometimes you will be engaging sexually with people without coupling, right? One night stand or sensual exchanges that go on, it's within the range of what's possible as a human being. And it's within the range of what might be happening. And even though you break up with your ex, you might still be beautiful lovers. You might still be a match for having sex together. The question that I want to ask you is really check it out. See for yourself if in the situation that you're in with your ex, is this something that is serving you both? Because it might be serving you, but not really serving her. It might be really painful for her to have sex with you and then see you distancing yourself. And so it's something that I want you to consciously engage into, bring awareness to it, bring awareness to the dynamics, and rather than engaging just with from a place of passion and fire and desire, just check it out for yourself. Try to identify, try to understand exactly what works for your specific couple. And uh, in my experience, you know, staying sexually active with your, your ex after breaking up, something that might work for maybe 
one to five percent of people on this planet. It's not wide, you know, for most people, you disconnect. Sexually, you are going to be disconnecting. And it's either you or her are not going to be comfortable with the sexual exchange. So the answer to your question is maybe in some isolated cases it can work. It's rare and it can be really challenging. But check it out for your own unique situation. I'll see you soon for another video.